I'm not daydreaming, I swear. What's up? Let's head out. Okay, let's move out. Yo. Wanna hit this together?
Even our skills are powerless before them. Continuing to persist here is meaningless. It will only serve to thin our ranks. After all this time, we've finally found a clue that may lead us to the Great One. With respect, the phenomenon space surrounding this planet is only 800 exodits in diameter. Three days at light speed is more than enough to scour it thoroughly. If the Great One or the Samar Federation homeland were here, don't you think we would have found something by now? Hmm. It's one thing to engage the enemy all the way out near that forsaken chunk of rock they call Earth. But then to be swallowed up by that strange light and dumped off here in this primordial hellhole? Are we cursed? And trapped with humans of all things. It's like some sick joke. If someone told me this was death, I'd believe them. All the more reason to persist. We must retrieve it if we ever hope to escape the confines of this phenomenon. Grandmaster Luxor. Speak. I bring news. Really? And he can be trusted? Most interesting. Yes, a most interesting proposal indeed. was a meal. I'm impressed, Lynn. My team could learn a thing or two. I'm glad you liked it. But you didn't stop by just for a meal, did you? No. You know me, Elma. It's about a job. It would seem to us the good sir would like to pick our brain. Of course, we will gladly let him in one ear and out the other. Almost, El. Almost that time. An alien mech? What type? No idea. It doesn't match anything on record as far as I can tell. No one's seen anything like it. It looks abandoned too. Totally ripe for the picking. Oh man, you're giving me goosebumps! Right. It's located here. That's pretty deep in Noctilum. No wonder you wanted to talk to El. Exactly. But here's the rub. Ganglion are after it, too. From what we can tell over Frontier now, they've gone after it several times already, and failed. Well, yes, that doesn't surprise us in the least. That's tainted land. Tainted? That doesn't sound good. They are savage beasts. Ferocious. Insatiable. He's talking about these. We didn't run into 
never tainted our territory. They only dwell deep within a specific part of the forest there. Although it doesn't seem right to even call it a forest anymore. Why do you say that? Because the tainted devour any and all living things, apart from other tainted, that is. Y you mean even mighty cops are not safe? Indeed, you would be swallowed whole. The tainted would make no bones about you, I'm afraid. Interesting. They must be formidable to be defeated the gang over and over. But if what else says is true, it could work in our favor. Bodies are artificial names. If the tainted don't perceive us as living things, we may be safe. Let's back up a second. You reported all this to the commander? Our top priority above all else is supposed to be searching for the light. Are you suggesting we set that aside to try and recover this gun? Exactly. Commander Vandom is why I'm here. Specifically requested I enlist your team. It's just as you said. There's no time for us to screw around. And we still absolutely need to find the life hold. But remember, the fact is we're also dealing with hostile Xenos here. Xenos who destroyed Earth and want every last one of us dead. Xenos who also seem to want this man and desperately. Hmm. And if it's that important to them. Right. What if it's a secret weapon, powerful enough to tip the scales? Feels like a bit of a long shot, to be honest. But okay. Even if we can't use it, we should at least keep it from the gang. Count us in. Any objections? No, ma'am. Glad to hear it. But if we're going to take this on, we will need to keep it quick. Roger that. Elle and Tatsu, you hang back. Unlike us, Tainted will target you guys for sure. Oh, most considerate of you, good sirs. Oh, Lindley! Lindley care about Tatsu after all! Well, of course. After all this time watching over you and fattening you up, I'm not about to let my prize turkey go to some rabid indigens. Everybody set? Yes, sir. Ready to go. Someone's excited. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, it's pretty amazing you made White Whale crew at your age. You have family here? My mom and dad passed away. They didn't make it. Ah, uh, that day? The attack on Earth? No, sir. It was before that. An accident. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. It's okay. My parents were both design engineers who worked on the White Whale project. But there was a mishap with the primary engine test. Still, it's thanks to them and people like them that the rest of us are all still here, you know? They made the White Whale space worthy, so they didn't die in vain. At least, that's what I like to think. I see. So they gave you a spot on the White Whale to say thanks. Thanks to your parents for all their hard work. It's a debt I try to repay every day, helping out folks any way I can. Don't misunderstand, Lao. Lynn earned her spot on the crew like anyone else. It was her talent and determination that made it happen. Her parents' positions provided an environment for her to learn in, but that's it. Lynn got to where she is now, entirely on her own. It's okay, Alma. No, she's right. Sometimes I talk before thinking. Sorry about that. Don't be silly. You don't need to apologize to me, sir. Now, shall we get going? Yeah. <laughs> 
we'll check it out. I don't think what? they'll let us walk away. way. If we go straight, we should hit some caves that lead to our destination. Okay then, let's go. Tip up. I don't think they'll let us walk away. They're off guard. Stack your fire. You walk. Fire, fire. I know what to do. Yeah, 
this strong. It ain't over yet. Let's heal this up. Work. Stop. Lay down some cover fire. Our ball blocked him. Let's walk away. They're off guard. 
means we're getting close. Yeah, it's just ahead. Uh, Elma? Relax. They won't bother us if we don't bother them. Yeah, I know what you mean, but... <sighs> Thank you. 